Aloha, my name is Tim Grabowski, and I am the unit leader of the US Geological Survey, Hawaii Cooperative Fishery Research Unit, based at the University of Hawaii at Hilo. Both Hawaiian ridge to reef systems, as well as Alaskan ice field to ocean systems, face potential of climate driven changes in extreme flow events, such as floods and droughts, that could dramatically change how nutrients are retained and transported. The overall goal of this proposed project is to develop a multiple, multidisciplinary team to evaluate the effects of flow alteration on these, these watersheds. And for this project specifically, we're focusing on an invasive species in Hawaiian streams, the armored suckermouth catfish. And we will then compare and contrast our findings to those of a complementary study that is ongoing in Alaska um, that links hydrology to freshwater salmon growth in, in, in Southeast Alaska. And in particular, in, the, in these swine streams that we're looking at, the armored suckermouth catfish can form extremely large populations um, and can account for a significant proportion of, of the biomass that accumulates in these streams. So it's of interest to look at how that biomass changes through time um, by looking at the growth and recruitment of suckermouth catfish in these streams. And to accomplish that in, in, in a short amount of time, what we're going to be looking at are the otoliths of these, of these fish. Otoliths are these acellular bony structures in the fish's head that are kind of, they're almost equivalent to human ear bones. What makes them really uh, interesting and unique is that they form rings on them as they grow. And over the course of a year, these rings form what are called annuli, where during fast periods of growth, you have these relatively translucent parts of the otolith. And as growth slows down, say in the winter in a temperate climate, growth, the growth rings become much closer um, space to each other. And you get these, these parts here that are, are relatively um, darker. And so by counting these, these annuli or these, these rings around the otolith, we can determine not only the age of the fish, but by looking at the proportion of the otolith accounted for by each of these increments, estimate how big the fish was at each of these, at the end of these growth seasons of each year. And from that, be able to estimate how fast the fish was growing in a given year and relate that back to flow conditions in the stream, if the stream has a, has a, has a stream gauge on it. So these data will provide resource managers with critical information of linking hydrology to, to the ecology of these streams, ridge to reef streams, as well as ice field to ocean streams, and guide decisions related to habitat restoration, flow management, invasive species control, and fisheries management.